Donald Trump at a rally just started making up stories about the Biden administration withholding aid from Republican areas and, and siphoning off aid to give to undocumented immigrants, just made the stuff up. Everybody knew it wasn't true. Even local Republicans said it was not true. And now the people of Florida are dealing with another devastating storm. And I want you to watch what happens over the next few days, just like the last time. You're going to have leaders who try to help, and then they're, you have a guy who will just lie about it to score political points, and this has consequences. Because people are afraid, and they've lost everything, and now they're trying to figure out, how do I apply for help? And, and, and some of them may be discouraged from getting the help they need. The idea of intentionally trying to deceive people in their most desperate and vulnerable moments. And my question is, when did that become okay? I, I, I'm not looking for applause right now. I, I, I want to ask Republicans out there, You know, people who are conservative, I, who, who didn't vote for me, who didn't agree with me. I, I had friends who, who disagreed with me on every issue. When did that become okay? Why would we go along with that? I mean, if your coworkers acted like that, they wouldn't be your coworkers very long. If, if, if you're in business and and somebody you're doing business with just outright lies and manipulates, you stop doing business with them. Even if you had a family member who acted like that, you might still love them, but you'd tell them you've got a problem, and you wouldn't put them in charge of anything. And yet when Donald Trump lies or cheats or shows utter disregard for our Constitution, when he calls POWs losers or fellow citizens vermin, people make excuses for it. They think it's okay. They think, well, at least he, he's, he, he's owning the libs. He, he's, he, he, he's, he's, he's really sticking it to them. It's okay as long as our side wins. And... And, and, and by the way, I, I, I'm sorry, gentlemen. I, I, I've noticed this especially with some men who seem to think Trump's behavior, the bullying and the putting people down, is a sign of strength. And I am, I am here to tell you that is not what real strength is. It never has been. Real strength is about working hard and carrying a heavy load without complaining. Real strength is about taking responsibility for your actions and telling the truth even when it's inconvenient. Real strength is about helping people who need it and standing up for those who can't always stand up for themselves. That is what we should want for our daughters and for our sons, and that is what I want to see in a president of the United States of America. And the good news is that you have candidates to vote for in this election that demonstrate that kind of character, who know what real strength looks like, who will set a good example and do the right thing and lead this country better than they found it. So, Pennsylvania, that is the choice in this election. It's not just about policies that are on the ballot. It is about values. And it is about character. So whether this election is making you feel excited or scared or hopeful or frustrated or anything in between, do not just sit back and hope for the best. Get off your couch and vote.
put down your phone and vote. Grab your friends and family and vote. Vote for Kamala Harris as the next president of the United States.